I said, okay, if I ask you guys some questions? Absolutely. Uh, you're, I guess you're Planned Parenthood? Yes. Okay. Um, what, exa what exactly are you protesting today? Um, I am protesting the fact that they want to defund Planned Parenthood as part of the new American Care Health Care Act. Okay. Uh, are, are you aware that the only thing that they're going to defund the Planned Parenthood under is if they still do abortion? Uh, well, even if they do, I believe in a woman's But he right wants to keep it open. He does want to keep it open. The abortions, right? He would defund it. It offers many services. Be right, exactly. That's the issue. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I believe that Planned Parenthood should keep offering abortion. There's no such thing as no abortion. You can only have safe and legal abortion. Abortion's been around for thousands of years. It's not going away. Women who want one will get one. So all we can do is make it safe, make it legal, and it's nobody else's business, least of all the president's. Okay. No. no. Okay. That's cool. Uh, 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 another question. Up to what age do you think, you know, uh, the fetus or the unborn child, uh, do you think it's okay to abort? Well, I think that that's an individual issue. I actually know somebody who went and met with Bill Clinton when he was president because she had a third trimester abortion. The reason that she had the abortion was things started to go wrong with the fetus. Its brain actually started to come outside of its head. There was no risk to her life, but there was no way that that child was going to have a healthy, happy life. Right. It was going to leave a life of pain and tragedy. She made the, the very painful decision to have a third trimester abortion. She went public with it. She met uh -huh. with the President of the United States at the time about it. He met with her whole family, spoke with them about the grief that they went through from losing a child that they already loved. And I don't think that anybody can that's what that's tell that's me that's that she made uh, immoral it. or wrong choice. And even if they did, it's still not their choice to make. So um, I don't believe the sort of fear-mongering that uh, President Trump has promoted by saying that, you know, oh, you shouldn't be able to have an abortion four days before delivery. I don't believe that that happened. I don't believe that women... Well, it does happen. They proved it. I, I don't believe that. And I believe that if it does happen, there are extenuating circumstances that nobody else knows about. There's no way... There's also no way to possibly safely and effectively enact the whole rape clause that they want to... You know, they want to say, oh, well, a woman is allowed to have an abortion in the um, instance of rape. Well, how are you going to prove that? Are you going to make her be pregnant for a rape trial? Trials usually last nine to ten months. At least a baby only takes nine months to make. Yeah, it's very, very complicated, right? It's a very complicated right, right. thing, and, yeah. You know, if somebody is, is personally feels that they wouldn't make that choice and that, that they are personally attached to an unborn fetus, that's completely, completely fine. It's only because it's for somebody else. Right. Well, like for me, uh, I was actually born two and a half months early. Um, they said my mother could have pa passed away and I could have also had like a 95% chance. Yeah. And then. And then even when I came out and lived, they said I had like a 95% chance of be being a vegetable. But actually, uh, I'm not a vegetable. I'm yeah. being right. So I, I guess I'm lucky. Uh, my mother survived, but she was in the hospital for over a year. Uh, so. And you know, that's, that's, it's wonderful that it worked out so well for your family. That's really amazing. And I just think everybody should have that, is that right? Yeah. Because if she listened to the doctor, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, in my my professional assessment of this, it's highly organized. Everybody has the same paperwork. Everybody has the same signs. Um, I'm going to do some research and see exactly where this came from. Because Black Lives Matter passed this out to me uh, the other day. Nobody here knows exactly what fascism means. Uh, I do. You guys do. Uh, all the Rightarians do. Um, so that's ridiculous. Um, I could probably 
find out that this refuse uh, fascism is probably connected to the Open Society's foundation some way or the other, so I will find that out uh, for you guys. Um, also, um, in other news, I'm going to leave because it looks like they just want to chant and uh, make a scene, and I, I wanted to try to talk to the people who were perhaps most um, uh, eloquent and uh, non-combative, uh, just, just to get whatever they thought was an intelligent point across. But uh, WikiLeaks, however, said that what they had dumped yesterday uh, with Vault 7 is less than 1% of what they actually have um, in this Vault 7. And I was saying uh, about Antarctica, Antarctica coming out. There was a massive amount of information that came out yesterday. I do believe that Antarctica information will come out. Um, there's something down there. And let me just cross the street over here. There's, there's definitely something down there, and they don't want us to know about it. Uh, also, I'm trying to get information inside the uh, Council on Foreign Relations. Um, I've actually visited their complex, which is a very tiny building on Fifth Avenue near the Met Museum. Um, I've been to the Open Societies Foundation and I asked if I could attend a meeting. Uh, we have some Trump supporters here. Make America Great Again. Trump, Trump support, I actually worked for Trump for eight months. Uh, I, was, I was asking them across the street if they knew what fascism was and nobody could identify. Nobody they throw out words. They, throw they, don't, they, don't, out. they don't know what like it means. when they always compare him to Hitler. They just throw things out. It's when he's the complete ignorance. opposite. It's ignorance, you know? And a lot of these people are here just, just you know, to get together like for a social thing. It, it's not Trump. even a real protest. Trump. It's not, you know. Trump. But the, the, thing, I, the thing I'm afraid about is uh, how, the, how the elites are trying to stop them every single day. Uh, so what they, they, you know, they're, they're, they're giving them so many roadblocks. Okay, uh, looks like they're doing some interviews here. Uh, these are pro good pro-Trump people. Maybe uh, I'll get on, on their interview. Uh, well, I have a few minutes for an interview. What is uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what organization are you with? We're an organization. We are students. We are making uh, reports about uh, Iran. Oh, it's just making a report? Okay. Very good. Alright. So, there's, a, there's always going to be madness. We have uh, Trump here. Th this guy looks like he knows what he's talking about. This building wall, it has nothing to do with Haitians. It had nothing to do with prejudice. It had nothing to do with racism. We just wanted to protect our country. That's all we wanted to do. They took it the wrong way and started saying, oh, is it, it, it wrong to want to protect the country? I think they're doing it on so purpose we because they want to destroy the country. the country. They want to do it on purpose to destroy the country. That's what they no, want they to don't. do. My friend, is it okay? So if we let, why don't we let an army invade this country? No, I'm agreeing with you. I, 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 I'm saying that they they want to stop him because they want to destroy the country they're by not having stop, a border. They're trying to stop Trump. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Thought, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm on your Trump. side. I'm on your I'm side, buddy. Trump, and I will always be for Trump because it's gonna make America great again. And it's gonna bring jobs back to the country. It's gonna end NAFTA. <laughs> Women already have a problem. They do have a problem. They know how to they're, they're just about and they want to make problems, but they want to cause problems. And I want everybody to know that. Uh, yeah. 